Hello, welcome to Promixing and Mastering. Today I'm going to show you how to connect FL Studio with Cubase. This is going to help you play your FL Studio in Cubase. And in case you want to change something in FL, you, you, you don't have to go close uh, Cubase and go to FL. You can just uh, open up FL Studio in Cubase 5. This is actually called rewiring so i'm going to show you how to rewire your uh fl studio with cubase or cubase uh, with fl studio so that your instrumentals can play in cubase and basically you can also record using cubase so first thing that you do is open up your your cubase basically this is going to work for any any type of cubase that you have right now whether it's Cubase 5 or Cubase 10.5. Go to new project. And then just make sure that the tempo your song is the same tempo with uh, Cubase. Holding control T and then adjust the tempo according to the tempo your beat. So once you've done that, just create recording. Um, audio tracks that is to say if you have done your instrumental in fl and you just want to record vocals in cubase so once you put up your audio tracks now what you do is come to devices right right here devices and then go to vst instruments come to vst instruments click that and then this little box will show up with our six instrument channels or where you have to put those instruments you just come to the first one and click left click inside and then come to where it is written fl studio vsti this one right here the first one just click it and then something will pop up this will pop up Cubase will ask you, do you want to create MIDI track assigned to plugin FL Studio VST? You just click create right there. And this little uh, box FL Studio VSTI will pop up. And all you have to do in order for FL Studio to show, you just have to click on this um, Fruity Loop logo just like that. And you have fl studio and all you have to do if you have your your recent instrumentals just click on that recent instrumental and it will open up or if you want to create new just come on new and then le let's make something yeah on new just like that so the bpm is 140 let's say you want to make something like this Yeah, and after you've made something like that, let's say you want to record in, in Cubase 5 or in your Cubase software, though, just come and on Cubase and, and uh, just take out this. You can also take out this. You, you can bring it back by simply clicking this, this right here, which is open device panels so that you can bring back your FL. And then once you're done, just uh, come on that one and then take it out. Then you can put your vocal. See, I'm going to uh, press play now. I know you want it. Yeah. Feel like it. Yeah. Recording right now. And basically, once you're done, just uh, listen to it. Oh, you want it? Yeah. So basically, what what is happening right now is that I'm controlling FL Studio from Cubase. Immediately, I play a uh, transport play. I play FL Studio is gonna play the instrumental that is in, in FL Studio is gonna play from Cubase just like this. Oh, you want it? yeah feel like it once i stop it 
FL Studio 2 um, is going to stop it. Make sure that whenever you want to go back to FL Studio, just come to where it is written FL Studio. Click there and go to edit VST instrument and then this is going to pop up and then uh, open up FL. Now I want to show you how it's playing from FL Studio. So here we go. Oh, you want it? Yeah. Feel like it. Yeah. Oh, you want it? Then I'm going to stop it and then check if FL is still running or stopped. It's also stopped from here. It's like Cubase is uh, controlling everything in FL Studio and basically you can control everything from from here. Now, once you play that from FL, once you play it from FL Studio, Cubase is not going to be controlled. Why? This is what I wanted to show you. It is because the rewiring or the control is opened in Cubase. It's not opened using, Cubase is not opened using FL Studio. We have used Cubase R. Cubase to open FL Studio and therefore FL Studio cannot control Cubase since Cubase is the one that has opened FL Studio. Unless if FL Studio is the one that opened Cubase 5, then Cubase, then FL Studio was going to be able to control uh, Cubase. But in this case, um, Cubase is the one doing the control since we opened FL Studio in Cubase. So the moment I play, I press play right here, FL Studio is going to agree and do according to what I have uh, commanded it to do from here, which is play all you want it. and stop. So basically, guys, this is how you um, work FL Studio in Cubase 5. This is going to give you an advantage to use to 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 use your instrumentals from uh, which are in FL Studio and just uh, use Cubase to just put your vocals and uh, control the vocals uh, using the instrument which is in FL Studio and you, you can change whatever you want you can change whatever you want you can change from here but Cubase will still be able to play. So this is one of the uh, great advantages of using Rewire or connecting FL Studio with uh, Cubase 5. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to like the video and I'm out.